So the only bit that got clipped at the beginning of this video was closing the first two parallel lines there with a short arc. And then we start drawing the seed pattern. So there's the central cross, and here's the mistake. There are no parallel lines coming off that central cross. I realize that, and then just erase that extra part with my foot, because that should be where the elbow turns. So using one of the trowels, just make the center cross as perpendicular as possible. And then using the tool to keep the path widths the same, find out where the corners of the elbows are and draw the four elbows, about a path width long. And then again using the tool and the center cross as your reference, you make little reference marks until you know that you're in the right spot. So one path width away, one path width away, got lucky on that one. And if you come up short, then you just connect it from the other direction. And again, one path width away, make a little mark, confirm it with the other one, and then make it deeper. So those are a little bit short. So you can just make them longer using the center as your reference point again. And then once you've got the seed pattern completed and you got that last dot located, I usually go back and really make sure my dots are deep and obvious because that's an easy thing to miss and if you miss the dot and go on to the next line uh, you won't wind up with a labyrinth. Sand is very forgiving. And that spot there was where I pivoted between the first two lines where I started and then we just connect the one element to the next element using the previous line as a reference. So starting in the next element using the previous line, pivot on the dot, and go around and stop at the dot. And you can pivot on the dot and trace it the rest of the way around. And that's basically it. The rest of it is just connect the next element to the previous element using the previous line as your reference. There's the dot you don't want to forget. Don't ask me how I know. And you can pivot on the dot early and kind of make a little mark there to remind you. Not sure why I did that. It's just missing the dots are what people re frequently miss. And then your last one, all the way around. I sped it up at the end here so you wouldn't have to watch just the repetitive part, but it took about four and a half, maybe five minutes. And these are pretty narrow pathways just for demonstration purposes. But there's your standard classical.